Violence and trauma are unfortunately what many children see and experience on a regular basis. The impact of this lasts a lifetime, often perpetuating a cycle of violence that is passed on generation to generation. My dad uh, never dealt with this trauma. In the last 20 years of his life, he started having psychotic breaks. And when he had psychotic breaks, I was both an attorney and his power of attorney, and I had to lock him up five times. He started screaming at me, you're nothing to me, you're worthless, you're nobody, you're nothing to me. And I said, that's not my dad talking, my dad loves me. And he kind of cocked his head and he said, Maybe you'd talk to your son like that if your father had kicked you down the hall over and over again, lifting you off the ground with his boot while you were trying to get away from him. Maybe you'd talk to your son like that too. Because inside my dad's brain, along with that chemical imbalance from childhood trauma, were these memories of what his father had done to him that he never got help with, never talked about, never addressed. My dad died of a heart attack in 2009 and then I went to counseling for the first time in my life. The cycle is now breaking in my family. At the Safe Long Beach Strengthening Families Workshop, keynote speaker Casey Gwynn, an expert on the impact of childhood trauma on adult illness, disease, and criminality, made a compelling case for the role of hope, which he described as having two components. First, willpower or the desire and discipline that each individual needs to tap into to create long-term change. And second, way power, or access to a comprehensive and integrated pathway that truly supports and empowers each individual. I believe he brought a message of hope and really looking at ourselves as a community, that when people are re-entering our community, whether it be from abuse or neglect, that there's a community with open arms, that we're working together to really help rebuild people's lives. This workshop, which over 300 people attended, was created to increase awareness and understanding of the warning signs of child abuse and family violence, its impact on children, and how to respond in a time of need by building community networks of support that promote healing. Throughout the day, participants attended numerous workshops, all designed to help Long Beach break this cycle of violence. I'm here as a, a parent. I want to be more informed on how to address uh, my daughter who is 12 years old. <laughs> so being very supportive and, and making sure that I'm nurturing that social and emotional um, development in her. So I want to make sure that I'm just an informed parent and, and doing the very best that I can. Being able to have hope and empower our agencies around here so that we can instill that into our families and trauma survivors um, was just a huge takeaway. I know a lot of us came out really eager and getting the books and talking to one another and I think that was just really huge. To find out more about Safe Long Beach and all the work it's doing, visit lbvpp.com.